So you're thinking of moving to or near Glassboro, New Jersey. In this video, we're gonna show you around Glassboro, including some of the things you can do in the area, some of the neighborhoods and price ranges. At the end, we're gonna show you some of the best ways to get around South Jersey from Glassboro. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. So make sure you hang out till the end. All right, let's go. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in South Jersey, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything about the current market in South Jersey. My name is Matt Curcio with Curcio Real Estate Partners at Real Broker. We get calls and messages every day from people like you looking for help making their move in the South Jersey area and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in five days or five months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of our information is in the description below so we can help you make that smooth move in the South Jersey area. So as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna take a few minutes here and share a bunch of information about Glassboro. So let's dive into my computer and get started. All right, so first, this is Glassboro on the map in Google. First of all, Glassboro got its name because it was built on a glass manufacturing company. Uh, Salman Stanger, I think the guy was in the, in the 1700s. So that was their specialty back then. That's how it got its name. In general, it's a little over nine square miles. Uh, population is about 19,000. And it, it is home to Rowan University, it used to be called Glassboro State, that you can see right here on the map. Um, parks and recreation. So there's a bunch of parks in Glassboro. I think there's more than seven or around seven of them. The bigger parks, which aren't just little swing sets and stuff like that, are New Street, which is off right over here. New Street Park. There's a little park across the street, Robinson. Then you have Owens Field over here. South Delsey, which is down here. This is a big park. There's football and all that. New Street has the T-ball, soccer fields, and more, this uh, South Delsey has soccer as well. Fish Pond, we have the Little League right down here. And then, let's see, there's a bunch of other stuff out here by Rowan. They have different fields and stuff where you can catch games for college. It's Division Three currently, and I think they have intentions to go further up. So that's all pretty cool. Um, when it comes to country clubs, unfortunately, there is no uh, country clubs in Glassboro. The closest ones are is Pittman, um, which is actually technically in Mantua, about five, 10 minutes away. Now, restaurants, lots of lots and lots of food. Um, I'll show you here. So it's pretty cool. This is downtown Glassboro now, okay? And this cuts right through, it's called Rowan Boulevard. So there's lots of cool stuff. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like in a, in a bit, but this main artery is Delsey Drive. And as you come down Delsey Drive, you kind of have, we have everything here. McDonald's, Smashburger, there's a Chipotle now, Wendy's, pretty much everything here. Shop rights over here. Uh, and then again, the downtown of Glassboro, you got diners, there's two diners. There's a, there's like a really old diner down here by Rowan and there's just lots and lots of food and Rowan Boulevard is really, really cool. So let's take a look at Rowan Boulevard. It's called uh, town square as well. So this is what it looks like. Um, from here, I'll show you an overview in a minute, but at night you can kind of see here, there's some pretty cool stuff. They just finished building this, I guess about two, three years ago. So the main street, this is kind of going down. And then when you look down the street, there's restaurant after restaurant. We have Chickie and Pete's. There's a bar, Landmark Americana. They have this water fountain. So this is really cool for the summer stuff that they do, craft shows, all that. Really, really cool stuff. This is what it looks like on top. So it's just really, really neat to, to be down in there. Barnes and Noble's right here. And here's all the food and some of every other floor in this high rise is college and the rest are luxury apartments for the general public. And then Rome University is all of this stuff. So it kind of does, it takes over a lot of Glassboro right here, but there's housing all over Glassboro for that. So according to schools, right, uh, according to niche.com, 
Glassboro school rating for all levels. They have their own high school and middle and lower elementary schools. They are a B currently, according to niche.com. Homes for sale. So if we jump into um, using Zillow right now. So Glassboro has a wide range of prices. There's a little bit of new construction, some small pockets. It looks like there's townhomes starting around 350. There is single families. Most of them are, are under 550,000 down to, you know, townhomes. There's a, there's not that many condos, but there are some condos and some manufactured and some random smaller houses, but these are all, you know, great little areas in Glassboro, lots of different prices. And we're going to actually take you on a tour. I'll shoot some, you know, driving through some neighborhoods, walk around, kind of show you what that looks like later on. So hopefully that's helpful. And next, I want to share exactly where we're located. So you can kind of see the ins and outs of getting around in, in South Jersey, specifically Glassboro. A lot of people that relocate from up north kind of ask, well, what are the traffic patterns? Where do, where do people work and stuff like that? So South Jersey is a great location because it's central to a lot. So first uh, I'll kind of show, it's about 30 minutes here, as you can see to Delaware, right? So in 30 minutes, you can be in Delaware and then go as far as you want. I was in uh, DC in two hours last week. So Baltimore, DC, down here, Virginia, and it goes all the way south. So that's that trip, right? 30 minutes to Delaware. Next, if you were to go to, let's say New York, so we get a lot of relocation from New York, people moving the further south. This is 295. Um, this is the main artery that hits North Jersey that you would go to to New York. Um, so it, to get to New York, basically, you're going to hit the GW Bridge or the Lincoln Tunnel in about two hours from Glassboro. It's all highway. It's nice and easy. So and, and if people relocate from up here, you know, it's, it's not a bad trip to go back to see family. Next, we are very close to Philadelphia. So that's the airport everybody uses. I'll zoom in here. So Philadelphia, you're going to be able to get over to Philly in about 30 minutes. Um, that's pretty much any time. Now, there are people that work in Philly, a lot of people in this South Jersey market from, you know, all over up and down 295 can travel into Philly for work or, you know, Cherry Hill and all that's a kind of an, a good populated area for jobs as well. And people will go north to Cherry Hill. Uh, so there is traffic issues in the morning in rush hour and coming home and on Fridays I'll show you I guess Atlantic City so to get to Atlantic City it's a great location again you're under an hour you can be in Atlantic City or any of the beaches um, Sea Isle Ocean City once you get down to like Cape May Stone Harbor Wildwood it's going to be about an hour and 15 minutes but in an hour, you can be down by Atlantic City, Brigantine, Ocean City, New Jersey. But this can be a rough traffic pattern on a Friday, every Thursday and Friday during the summertime, Route 42 all the way down. It's the AC Expressway. Um, and there's a couple other ways to get down there. Uh, you can sit in some serious traffic. Next, malls. So the Deptford Mall is the closest mall. And I want to say you can be there in about 15 minutes. And it's right down 55. So nice, easy trip or Delcy drive right to the mall. Um, yep, 14 minutes. And then, as I said earlier, uh, Cherry Hill is a big artery for, for people in South Jersey. Lots of jobs up here from Moorestown, Mount Laurel, Cherry Hill, all these different areas. So you can be to the Cherry Hill Mall in about 30 minutes. It's a little bit of a bigger mall, bigger stores, more stores and stuff like that. So again, traffic pattern. This is a tough traffic pattern in the morning if you're taking rush hour. You can sit for about 15, 20 minutes. My first few jobs when I moved to South Jersey were up in this area. And, uh, you know, it was just tough. If you if you had to be there at eight, eight, eight or nine in the morning, you had to plan to hit rush hour all along the bridge traffic going into Philly or people getting up 295, which is this road, to get to Cherry Hill or the surrounding areas. So, so that's a bit about Glassboro and the surrounding market. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you're in the market, our contact info is in the bottom of the video. So we'd be glad to help you out. Talk to you soon.